Welcome back to another episode of Motorsports Reviews, where everything under the sun continues to suck in every conceivable manner, in every conceivable way, and etc. Um, IndyCar still has 40 to go. Race is over. I will be genuinely shocked if it's not. Incredible. This racing around the world continues to amaze me with how awful it is on a week-to-week basis. It is not even surprising me at this point. Actually, I just said that it continues to shock me, but it's not even surprising. You know, it's just the expectation is there that when Friday rolls around, may as well just fucking hunker down. I wasn't going to curse in this video either. I'm trying to not curse in videos anymore. I know I said I was never going to do that, but it's like YouTube just bitches about it constantly. Even when I don't monetize videos, it still bitches about it. So it's like, I may as well, dude. I'm defeated at this point, just in general. Xfinity! It was Daytona, a plate race. Therefore, Allgaier stood no chance of winning. Wasn't even considering the chance that he was going to win today, but it was, it was out in, what was that, stage one? Stage one where the field died, at least talentless died with them. Just about... 10 drivers that I was cheering for were involved in that first big wreck in Xfinity. It's like, yeah, expected. So that's wonderful. Um, race was drop dead boring for the most part. Um, I don't know how anyone could bear to pay attention to that for more than five laps at a time. Don't know what else to say. Just that was what? When was that? Wasn't the race really late? I know when it was over, I went and watched videos until I went to sleep, so it must have been pretty late. I think it was it was dark out when the race was over here, so it's gonna be like nine o'clock, you know. So I mean, like literally the only reason that I finished watching that was because Annette was still in it. And I had nothing else to do. So um, Twitter was extremely mad that I think that Ross Chastain has a literal watermelon for a brain. Um, I don't know. Not, nothing surprises me anymore now, so. Yeah. Um, he admits to running over his teammate on the final corner. And when I say that he's a dumbass for doing so, he... What should have happened there was... The two of them wrecked on the inside, and Annette goes around them on the outside and wins. But no, Chastain just turns the fuck right because he ran over all Meninger's shit. So it takes out Annette, naturally. So Justin Haley won by virtue of being on the inside line rather than the outside line. Very cool. So I was really wishing, really wishing that Colling didn't win that race. The only, the only driver... At calling that I would have been okay with winning, did win. So that's a net positive, I suppose. But the fact that Chastain destroyed Almendinger and himself in the process, that was a very Elliot Bristol type move. I would have laughed if Annette wasn't involved. If Annette was already out and not even like in that conversation, I would probably be a lot happier with that finish. But no, naturally, Annette, for once, is going to finish a plate race. No. But Justin Haley winning is better than most of them in the field, so take what you can get, I suppose. Um, There was an ARCA race this week. Didn't watch a minute of it. Who cares? Cup Series, I watched five whole laps. The only thing that I saw in the Cup Series was the two crashes. I don't know if there was another. There was a crash with, like, Stanhouse and Kurt Busch. I didn't see that. I think I didn't see that because the only wrecks that I remember were well, all the, the several wrecks on the last lap that I didn't throw a caution for because they that because NASCAR is extremely consistent. Um, and then the wreck that 
started the, the overtime restart, which is still a stupid name. Um, I laughed when I saw Jimmy Johnson destroyed. That, yeah, that was a big thumbs up on my end. I spent the entire time driving back from the racetrack to here with a very smug grin about the fact that Jimmy Johnson is not in the chase. Ha. If only I had the energy to laugh. I would if I did. Um, Byron won, which on its face, you know, is good. Glad to see Byron win, finally. So good, I guess. But the fact that he won is kind of overshadowed by the fact that the Benedetto restarted fourth. Bell restarted third. I think Chris Busher was up there somewhere. You know, Michael McDowell finished like 14th. And, the, and yeah, DeBenedetto finished 12th. Bell finished 13th after restarting on the front row. Hamlin. Boy. On the back stretch on the final lap, if he pushed Truex, he and Truex would have come out of turn four, one and two for the lead. Just like... Hamlin and Jones were in the clash, just like Hamlin and Blaney were in the Daytona 500. And for some reason, he takes it three wide on the outside. Hamlin, you know that that was not going to work. You cost both Truex and yourself the win. Why? What reason? What net benefit does this give you? You cost yourself and the team the win with that move. Hamlin, you are better than this. You are the best plate driver in the field. There's no doubt about it. You absolutely are the best plate driver in the field now. You, you knew that was not going to work. This is, this is why you don't have a championship, dude. Um, the only reason Byron won is because Elliott didn't go, so, because Elliott stayed in line so his teammate would win and get into the chasing and all that So, it kind of sours that, is that just the fact that Elliott did nothing is the reason why Byron won, so the reason Byron won is because of Elliott, so that's annoying. Kind of sucks, not gonna lie. But on its face, I guess that's not the worst that that race could have gone. I mean, DeBenedetto's in the, in the chase, Johnson is not. So, Overall, that race could have gone a hundred times worse. The Truck Series. Hey, everyone. Todd Gilliland got wrecked from the lead. Where have we seen this before? Yeah, so Creed basically did the exact same thing that Talentless did at Canadian Tire in 2018 to Gilliland again. Except this time it was at Gateway which is a garbage track. Forgot to mention that. Forgot to mention that at the top of the video. <laughs> um, and everyone hates Creed for it, which, you know, moderately justified, I'd say. At least Creed admitted to being, you know, a jackass in victory lane. I mean, he did the thing that Talonless couldn't do, which is wreck the leader and win. So, I mean, bare minimum, he wrecked the leader and, you know, the thing about it is that Todd Gilliland had the dominant truck today. You know what that says about the truck series? When front row motorsports and Todd Gilliland are the team to beat in the truck series. You, you. That is painful, to say the least. Um, and Moffat, in turn, went on to do absolutely nothing. He restarted what? He restarted third behind Creed. And... Sam Godforsaken Mayor looked like he was going to win this race for a long time there. That alone is pain. Chandler Smith continuing to get absolutely brutally just fisted every week. Somehow, some way, he's just going to get anally eviscerated on a grand on a national stage. A woman with a face mask in her pickup driving down the road behind me there. It's very cool how, um, did you hear? I don't know if this video, I don't know if this video is going to get pulled off of YouTube for me saying this, but I'm going to cite the, um, the, um, National Health Organization, the, uh, CDC or something. 
That said that only 6.2% of official COVID deaths were actually from just COVID. So about six, 7,000 people. Some pandemic, huh? Really glad that we shut down the entire country for half a year. And, and all that good shit. Thank you, CDC. Thank you, World Health Organization. Thank you, China. Fun times. I hate everything. Speaking of I hate everything, uh, Moffat's sh- still shit. He is still god-awful. But considering Crafton was god-awful last season and he won the championship, fuck it. I'd say Moffat's still got a good shot at the championship, despite the fact that GMS is fucking railing him every week. Garbage truck after garbage truck. The man cannot catch a break. He finished second today and was like the eighth worst. He, there were like seven trucks on the track better than him today, and he finished second. Moffat's just that fucking good. Oh, I hate everything. IndyCar! Yo, ladies and gentlemen, do you love it when there are zero green flag passes for the lead in NASCAR? Oh man, just wait until you get to IndyCar where there's zero green flag passes for the lead on track in two races in the same weekend. Wow, every pass was made on pit road. And like, you know, that's fine. You make a pass on pit road, you know, there's strategy. You know, when a race can go flag to flag without a caution. You know, that novel concept NASCAR. You know, at least pit strategy actually mattered as opposed to NASCAR, as opposed to the truck series where it was it was better than the Xfinity rules at Road America. That was fucking garbage incarnate. At least this makes sense. It's stupid. It takes any strategy out of the race whatsoever. So it's dumb. But at least it's better than whatever the hell they were doing in the Xfinity race at Road America. God damn it, dude. But, because, like, this actually saves the team's money as opposed to what Road America was. Just that sheer garbage on, on wheels. Um, but, yeah, it's still trash. Based on what I'm trying to say. Um, but, like, it's fine for these standalone races where there's no cup pit crews. Screw it. Screw it. If everyone's going to use a cup pit crew, then screw it. Let's do it this way. Halftime break is better than whatever they did at Road America. Um, what was I even going to say? Um, yeah. IndyCar! No green flag passes on track. Um, that was pretty trash. Um, I'm not even mad that Dixon won race one. The only reason that I'm even close to mad about that is because Takuma was second, and if his rear tire tanger was actually able to change tires i don't think he would have won because you still can't pass on the track (laughs) because he dropped back like what was that two seconds i mean i don't think that tire lost him two seconds on track i don't think he would have come out ahead of dixon but it was still trash regardless um terrible race to this race two was worse there were more leaders but it was still trash um I hate Penske, etc. Uh, I don't even know if the race is over or not. <laughs> but, I mean, it is over. But I don't actually know if, like, the checkered flag has waved. It's over. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that The checkered flag itself has not waved. So, everything continues to suck in the world of racing. Um, who cares about F1? Who gives a shit? Um, yeah. Everything continues to suck, and nothing is ever good. So, sure, Darlington is going to blow ass. Can't wait. I don't know what the next IndyCar race is. Maybe they'll have a green flag pass on track for the lead. Wouldn't that be a novel concept? But, yeah, everything continues to suck. I only made this video because I watched most of the races this week. And, yeah, so, fun times. Fun fucking times. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hate everything. See you in the next video etc. Um, keep giving me some fast food review suggestions or shitty food suggestions. If, it, if you can find it in a Walmart, if you have something to suggest to me that you could find in a Walmart, suggest that too. I'm open to eating any kind of garbage in the world. I am just that desperate for views. So yeah. So anyway, this has been a video. Surprise I made it 15 minutes.
Yeah. So I think it's going to rain. That would be the one good thing that's happened this weekend if it rained. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm actually leaving. Yep. Bye.